morning welcome back dear students i am dr nagraj explaining physics of animation it is part of engineering physics vtu syllabus this is my second video on this topic in the previous video i was just talking about importance of physics role of physics in animation and some classifications that is taxonomy of physics i explained what is kinematics dynamics reverse motion or backward motion it is also called as inverse motion and forward motion and also i was talking about what is called scaling and size scale and size and then frames frames per second or fps that is frames rate and also something about uh, uh, weight uh, that is a proportionate scaling proportionate what happens if you don't scale the object properly so okay now let us proceed further before that let us define scale how do you define scale see for example you have a huge object let us say uh, one dinosaur dinosaur right now they are not away uh, not there on the earth but okay you want to animate dinosaur or oh, write the dinosaur size i want to change uh, what is the actual size of the dinosaur or okay let us consider cricket field what is the actual size of the cricket field that is in the denominator actual size of the object or character or property or anything and uh, animated size animated size so the ratio of these two is known as scale so scale scale or scaling is nothing but animated size divided by actual size and also we write scale in terms of pixel animation pixel divided by actual dimension of the object like how we define scale okay so you while scaling no you have to be very careful i gave that cat and kitten example in the previous video so you have to animate properly so that there will be proportionate variations volume decides the strength uh, weight of the body and the area decides the muscle strength of the body so while animating one uh, has to consider all these factors into uh, account okay another thing frame i was talking about frame normal human i can perceive 12 frames in one second 12 images if you run in order then it appears like a motion but uh, 12 images in one second appears like a choppy motion see look at this i write 12 stars one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 
acceleration or deceleration what is the relation between velocity and acceleration velocity time and acceleration distance traveled by the body centripetal motion centripetal acceleration centrifugal motion centrifugal force all these things you should have okay so motion is very important for animation we have to talk about two types of movements two types of motion what is that see for example one person is hitting one object like say for example i am hitting this pen by my hand okay this is an action so i want to slap this hand i want to hit this hand this is emotion or i want to move like this this is another motion see in first example my body part is moving in the second case my whole body is moving so in connection with this i define two lines called line of action path of action action definitely it is not to be confused with line of motion line of motion is not at all connected to this it is line of action path of action see here hitting is an action movement is an action jumping is an action rotation is an action or movement of my hand is an action or when i drop the ball ball keeps moving like this it bounces back moves like this like this like this that is also an action so here two lines we have to define for better effect bar for better visual effect so that the audience will lol will lost themselves enter into the fantasy world see uh, is, there is a, this common jerry cartoon is there no there you can see beautiful line of action and path of action what is this line of action as i told just now during the motion body part will move or the whole body will move so for example i want to hit my hand while hitting that this hand moves in this direction moves along this line okay so if it moves along this line this line is called line of action this line of action is very very important to create exaggerated effects see in animation sometimes exaggeration is also very important but at the same time don't deviate from the physics law if line of action is something like straight line say i have given one diagram here here one cat is hitting another cat in the first diagram it is simply hitting like this in another case it is hitting so that the whole cat is taking what is called this type of shape see this is line of action even here this is also line of action this is line of action this is line of action this is line of action but the difference is in this case the hand if it moves like this it won't give any better or more exaggerated effect whereas here the hand moves like this so that the next cat is moving this way so the effect is more you can easily make out the difference between the two diagrams in the first diagram effect is not exaggerated is simply one cat is hitting another cat is receiving the hit whereas in the second case first cat is hitting second cat is affected to the maximum extent that's why it is taking this shape this is called line of action this is called line of action so what is line of action it is line along with the body part moving line along with the character's body is moving see this is one character it is moving like this this is another character it is bending like this okay another example i gave you okay just to recall one car is speeding up and it hits the post okay road side there is one lamp post and the speedy car okay this speedy car is going like this going like this and hitting what happens car gets damaged no doubt but for better effect just to show that how strong that impact is what animator will do he will bend the post like this or he will bend the post like this right he will not bend the post this way if it bends the post this way it won't give much effect if the post bends this way or this way or this way it will give better effect so exaggerated effect all these are nothing but line of action i hope you are following line of action is nothing but line along with the 
character's body moves character's body moves it gives better impression and normally there are three shapes for line of action namely c shape reverse c shape and s shape right so a better cartoonist a better animator what he will do first he will decide the line of action and accordingly he will design the character accordingly he will design the character okay well you are standing in bus stop okay one bus will come and hit you it's only comedian uh, uh, picturization when it hits if you bend like this it is normal tendency it is normal happening suppose if the cartoonist makes it something different like uh, you bend this way right your body takes some different shape that gives another impression that means the impact is very strong like that so this is line of action so line of action is along with the and body character bo character's body moves okay so it is going to give exaggerated effect see we exaggerated effects are very important in animation for example here is a person okay he is smiling right he is smiling like this this is normal this is normal suppose if you want to exaggerate it what you have to do you have to do like this right this is the exaggerated effect this is exaggerated effect you change the shape of the eye or you change the shape of the ear or you raise the hairs all these things will give exaggerated effect okay so like that line of action is also an exaggerated effect but remember while taking the line of action you have to be very careful it is only the character's body movement that's all if the character itself is moving from one point to another point let us say a person is jumping or a cat is jumping or ballet dancer is doing dance or you drop a ball the ball goes like this like this like this like this the path along which the ball moves that is called path of action so when you drop a ball it falls here bounces back falls here bounces back bounces back like this so the ball is going this way so this is path of action right or if i move my hand like this from the starting point to end point, point that is the action my action is movement of the hand so the path along with the hand moves that is nothing but path of action okay here i have given few diagrams where you can see the path of action and in the previous diagram which i showed just few minutes back is line of action so line of action means it is a line along with character's body is moving path of action means it is a path along with the whole action is taking place whole action action means it can be bouncing of the ball it can be movement of the body it can be movement of the uh, you know hand or it can be a dancer moving from one point to another point all these things comes under path of action category okay so this is about line of action and path of action now let us proceed further now comes what is called timing what is timing this is very important for an animator that way all are very important only frame is very important uh, action line of action is very important path of action is very important whether it is see all these things are nothing but motion only whether it is kinematic or dynamics it is motion only right so now comes what is called uh, timing what is timing let us say there is one action this this is the action i move my hand from here to from here to here this is the movement this is action hand is moving from a to b right so this is a to b i am moving my hand this is action so a person who is looking at this action should feel that hand is moving smoothly smooth movement if it is moving in installment like this frame rate is less that's what i told you know black and white movies movement is choppy if the movement is smooth frame rate is more okay so frame rate means number of frames per second that also over now what is timing timing is nothing but total time taken for the action to go from starting point to end point here my hand is going from a to b what time it takes to go from a to b that is nothing but timing also to go from a to b for smooth movement for an observer how many frames i have to put that is also timing timing tells you how many frames are accommodated from starting point to end point 
point of that action action can be anything it can be a car moving from here to there or hand going like this or a bird flying from here to there or a mouse entering the uh, you know kitchen or mouse moving across the uh, door or anything which is involved with which is connected to motion will be having starting point and end point so from starting point to end point for that particular action how many frames i have to accommodate that is also timing timing tells you how many frames are accommodated for that particular action and definition it is the total time taken for the action to happen whatever may be the action how much time it takes for that action that is called timing timing is having a huge effect on the viewer it will uh, give an impression for viewer to make out the object what type of object it is timing uh, with the help of timing we can perceive the type of the object we can perceive the character whether it is a small object or a heavy object or a lighter one or heftier one all these things we can make out with the help of timing i give you an example look at this example i have two boxes here two boxes here right if you look at the box you feel that both are of same size same dimension okay well they are at certain height and here is the ground here is the earth surface okay so right now both of them are at certain height now if i ask you which one is heavier which one is lighter whether it is box x or box y you cannot make out at all now you have to animate so that from the animation from the movement of the box you can make out whether x is heftier or y is heavier how if you keep less timing for x that means if the box x falls fast y falls slowly so okay so that this is falling fast this is moving slowly what impression it gives certainly it tells you that x is heavier than y that means timing is less less timing indicates that the body weight is more more timing indicates that body weight is less this is a lighter body this is a heavier body if x falls very fast that means timing is less why falls slowly means timing is more okay falls very fast means you have one image here you have one image here one image here that's all so three frames that's all instead of that if you have images like this like this like this right you feel that the body is moving slowly so more frames are accommodated here less frames are accommodated here less frame means less timing less timing means the body is heavier more frame is more timing more timing means body is lighter and the timing is done by placing the character at a particular place in a particular frame this is about the box falling under gravity let me consider a marble rolling on the floor i have a marble rolling from here to here right now i consider a frame something like this first frame in the second frame i should write a marble at some, that that means i am not drawing the line you know box like this this is only one frame this is only one frame in the next frame i should draw the marble at some other place suppose if i draw the dot i told you know in the book if i draw the dot always at only one place always at the center even if i run the pages i won't feel that the dot is moving okay i have to draw the image at different positions okay let me consider only three frames this frame and next to this frame and next to this frame right look at the position the dot is not at the same point this is done with the help of timing only first you know the distance right and then you know whether it is a lighter object or heavier object then you decide the number of frames so so if instead of that in all the frames you have dot at the center 
only then even if i run all the frames at a time in order i won't feel that dot is moving i feel that the dot is at the same point so this is about timing timing gives a better impression about the character whether character is uh, you know heavy or light or whether character is uh, you know adult one or uh, baby stage or whether character is aged one or younger one all these things we can give the impression through timing only okay so this is about timing another equal important property is spacing after timing comes spacing now i will explain what is this spacing now spacing what is spacing coming back to these diagrams only these are the frames between two frames there is a gap this gap is called spacing so spacing is nothing but distance between two frames or distance covered by the action between two frames it can be even total distance also so spacing not only the distance between two frames it is a dis not only between two two positions of the action here the object falling under gravity is action it is not only distance between two positions of the action it is also total distance traveled so total time taken for the action is a timing and the distance for that action to happen or the spacing between two frames is nothing but spacing the timing and spacing there is a small difference timing tells you how long that event occurs how long the time action takes the time spacing how quickly how slowly that action is happening or how fast that action is happening it is in animation it is shown like this for example this is the floor i have a marble a and marble b right now you roll them from a to a dash right b to b dash the distance is same so they cover same distance therefore action is same movement that is from a to a dash b to b dash timing is same same number of frame sorry same number of uh, uh, sorry not frame same distance it is traveling so same timing time taken for the action to happen is same but now i will write frames like this like this like this this is the center like this like this like this right okay one two three so this is the center c is the center a is moving with uniform speed now b see any movement for that matter in animation does not move all of a sudden they enter with lesser speed then accelerate then they slow down actually there are 12 principles in animation this is one of the principle while animating you have to adopt this you enter the character slowly then accelerate then you slow down then only animation will be more effective so that way b will enter the scenario speeds up and slows down see like this just watch my hand this is moving with uniform speed right so this is suddenly enters okay sorry slowly enters accelerates and slows down so enters fast and then slows down this is with uniform entering same moving same ending same b is entering slow in between accelerates and then slows down so initially acceleration finally retardation or deceleration entry effect the body is getting accelerated that is called slow out also called as ease out and and finally it is ready to or preparing itself to slow down or to stop therefore it is called slow down or is out is in sorry so these are the two points in animation so there will be slow out and then slow in slow out means the body is getting ready to accelerate slow in means the body is ready to decelerate okay so how do you show this in animation slow out and slow in how we 
put in animation that is by having more number of frames initially now look at this spacing is not same earlier this was the spacing now the spacing is less this is the difference where you can this is the point where you can see the difference between timing and spacing later on spacing increases both will be at the center at simultaneously again spacing keeps on reducing reducing like this so for this slow out and slow in i have more number of frames for normal movement i have less number of frames 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this way by crowding the frames in the beginning and the ending position i can bring in smooth entry smooth exit smooth entry acceleration that is slow out smooth exit slow in that is retardation take another example i have a pendulum over here this is the equilibrium position this is the extreme end when i release i feel when i watch the movie of pendulum movement of the pendulum oscillating like this i feel that it is moving this way but how animator does this initially it has to move slowly so he must have very more number of frames in the initial position later on the spacing keeps on increasing and then here spacing keeps on decreasing decreasing and uh, more number of frames will be there at the exit point this is entry point slow out out means not exit out means entry point in means exit point here so this is a little bit of confusion slow out means the body get body getting ready to accelerate and body getting ready to retard or decelerate okay so this is about timing and then spacing timing tells you how long that action takes place spacing tells you how smoothly that action takes place for smooth movement we should have initially more frames and even at the end also more frames entry point that is slow out point exit point that is slow in point okay this is one of the expected question explain slow in slow out ease in ease out ease out means the body getting ready to accelerate so ease out ease in means the body getting ready to slow down okay so this is about uh, timing and then uh, spacing with some examples so i will stop this video here so in my next video i will come back to you with two specific motions linear motion in linear motion again uniform motion and non uniform motion there how do you time the event okay so how do you achieve the timing what rule we have to follow all these things we will discuss in the next video i hope you are following the lecturing please give me your feedback so that i can improvise it further thank you thank you very much